this is the simple SOLIDWORKS CAM exercise video. Here we will learn basics and we will do one simple exercise. First we will create a plane or a model. Or model always keep Z axis upward side. I will show you how. I will choose front plane. A sketch. Now let me create one model here. So start with rectangle, center rectangle. Okay. Let us define this 150. Two forty. Now extrude this and uh, keep end condition blind towards front side and dimension forty millimeters. Say okay. Again, I'll select top face. Now let me create few cutting paths. Go back and convert into arc. Connect line. Okay. Now activate circle tool. Let me draw here two circles. Now here draw one more circle. Now activate straight slot. Let's define this all. Hundred and five millimeter, ninety millimeter. 45, 45, 30, 40, 70 and distance from upper edge 30, let us define this also, 70, 35, 20 and one more distance from top edge 35. Okay, let us do one more relation, hold shift key, select these two circles and make constraint equal. One more constraint, let us select the center point of both the circle, hold shift key, horizontal. Now this is fully defined sketch, simply extrude cut. Now here we want to cut this all. Before going to choose anything, just open selected contour and select. If you move cursor, the things will be become orange color. I am going to choose this one. Depth 20 millimeter. Keep end condition blind. Say yes. Again, select the sketch, extruded cut. Again, go to selected contour and this time I am going to select these two circle holes and depth make let us say 10 millimeter, it will be more visible, that is why I keep 10 millimeter. Say OK. Again, I am going to select sketch to extruded cut and in selected contour, I am going to choose this time this hole and make end condition through all. The last operation select, oh sorry, extruded cut, selected contour, this time I am going to choose this one 20 millimeter. Say OK. Now that is perfect. Now if I make like this, let me save this one. Cam exercise. Now right click on tab and check there is a cam, SOLIDWORKS cam available or not. If not, then Either go to tools or simply open from here, add ins. And here you will find option SOLIDWORKS CAM 201. Do not check this one, otherwise your CAM tab will always be open. So I am going to choose this one, OK. Now let us see the tab will come here, look, the tab is come here. If you open your design manager tree, you will find here three options. Now first one is feature tree. The third one, second one, the middle one is operation tree and the last, if you click operation tree, see these operations we have to perform. The last one is tool library, what kind of cutting tool available in your library. These, is, these are the things which is you can change it according to your need. So keep operation cam operation tree and first thing you have to define machine. See here, right click, uh, 
click on the machine and you will see this tab now first operation mill metric machine i am going to select select this machine now here also see tool cribe in tool cribe there are multiple number of tools which is available in your station now if you come down available tool cribe there are three in each station there is 20 number of tools even though parallelly you can add tools remove tool edit tools or update tool list make sure your cutting tool always be smaller than the whole size but this is this all system going to be automatically now post processor here you have to define your machine your solidworks cam does not don't know the machine so you must define by default it's already selected mill tutorial fanuk type then there are few more settings we will see in coming lectures now here keep machine medium duty let's say okay now the next option is coordinate system now always make sure z axis on top side because the tool coming from top side if not then you have to manage through this axis but in this case we don't need so simply say yes now next is stock manager stock manager is nothing but the raw material which is going to use to cut these things now here the code and material let's say aluminium alloy we want to cut now type stock type it is a bounding box type if you want to add any material let's say see 20 millimeter 20 millimeter you can add it 10 millimeter or let's say 2 millimeter and this all let's keep zero and we will see at the end it will show you the surplus material let's keep as it is now stock also defined let's choose setup mill setup now mill setup the cutting going to start from the plane so i'm going to select this top plane top face see you will see the arrow goes down it means tool coming from top and this this is the zero surface from where it starts cutting machine say okay now these all are set now there is next option extract machinable feature it will tell you what kind of operation you need to cut these tools so simply click and it is going to calculate and see these are the operations you need to perform to make this simple part now after that there is one op things called generate operation so click see you must select then select so these are the plan roughing plan cutting plan roughing roughing cutting cutting so first it will roughly cut then it will finish see rough finish so these are the things you, you can going to cut so again select mill operation plan already generated now let's generate tool path oh look it's also generated tool path if you click any one operation see it will sh sh highlight you what operation is going to perform okay anyway this is the plan uh, tool path is already generated this is the actually process going to cut the next option simulate so click make sure you selected mill part setup simulate tool path okay this is the your tool a stock manager the basic raw material now here i am going to select okay change this one the speed you can reduce now here i want to see shaded display that's fine here translude now tool shaded with age it will show you all okay now okay let's play run look how it is going to cut first this is going to cut your oblong hole we make this food speed slower so that it will be more visible first rubbing then cutting it will cut in two process actually not in one process 
Now, the next operation is going to take let us increase little more faster ok. Let us do this. Now, you will see 2 millimeter material we added at the top you will see those added material. Now, see this holes are going to cut. Now, this center hole. If you see this one x, y, z, it will show you the traveling path of tool. Okay. Now, see this blue color it is extra material we added at stock. So, it will show you in blue color and this is the our cutting material. If you change display difference see. Okay. Now, the next thing is save C L file. C L file it is not nothing but the uh, cutting cutter location file where cutter moves around. So, let us say cam file look these are the cutting location it will show you where tools moves. Now, the next most important thing generate G code for machine which is the most important thing and that is called post process click on post process. Now, type file type keep tab file give the name save and here click play now it will generate all the g, g codes say ok come down play cam exercise now look now see these are a g code file simply copy in your pen drive and transfer to the machine machine will read and do the needful job. So, I hope you like it and you understood how SOLIDWORKS works. These are the few step which is necessary to create a G code to cut a parts in machine. I hope you like it. Do not forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SOLIDWORKS. Thanks for watching.